breaking. Welcome to today's news. Here is the headlines. Truth is out. Chief of Army Staff submits resignation letter to Tinubu. Nigerian Army speaks. Truth is out. Chief of Army Staff submits resignation letter to Tinubu. Nigerian Army speaks. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, Please stay tuned as I read today's news and please do ensure you like, subscribe and share. The Nigerian Army has debunked a report which claimed the Chief of Army Staff, Kohas Taorid Ladbaja has resigned from his position. The Nigerian Army, in reaction to the development on Monday, described the report, which went viral on social media, as fake news. It is understood that the report claimed that Ladbaja had submitted his resignation letter to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. However, reacting to the online report, the Director of Army Public Relations, Major General Oyema Unwachuko, said the report on Ladbaja's resignation should be disregarded. It is fake news. Please disregard it. Nwachuku was quoted to have said to the punch about the report. Meanwhile, President Tinubula has issued a fresh directive to security agencies in the country to go after cyber criminals and other organized crime groups. President Tinubu said security and law enforcement agencies, including the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, the Nigerian Customs Service, NCS, the Nigerian Police Force, NPF, and the Nigerian Port Authority, NPA, must intensify efforts in cracking down on individuals in possession of and trafficking in stolen vehicles. He stressed that Nigeria is not a destination for stolen vehicles or other ill-gotten wealth. President Tinubu made the declaration in a statement on Sunday by his special advisor on information and strategy, Bayo Ononuga, while reacting to the recent handover of 53 vehicles and 180, 180, 180 million three hundred dollars by the EFCC to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. RCMP, on behalf of two Canadian citizens who were victims of cyber crimes perpetrated by Nigerian nationals. While commending the EFCC for its efforts, President Tinubu further assured of the commitment of his administration to fighting all criminals and their activities.
Elsewhere, the national leader of the Yoruba Self-Determination Movement, Professor Banji Akintoye, on Monday intensified his call for separation from Nigeria, asking Southwest governors and monarchs in the region to declare September 23 as Yoruba Unity Day. He, however, alleged that suspected Fulani bandits have killed no fewer than 29,000 Yoruba people and continue to rape women and subject others to all sorts of atrocities. He said this in a statement to mark the anniversary of Yoruba Unity Day. Akintoye, a renowned historian, stressed that given the continued threat to life and destruction of farmland, the only option left is to separate Yoruba nation from Nigeria. He said, the only viable and sustainable answers to all these horrible situation is to separate our Yoruba nation from Nigeria and to establish our own country where we shall be able to exercise our sovereignty, to provide security for our land and people, and where we shall be able to run our economic decently in the way that we Yoruba know. The Nigerian Army has debunked a report which claimed the chief of army staff, Kowaz Taurid Ladbajara, has resigned from his position.